Hi everyone. In today's video, I would like to show you how to set up the number of vehicles for each turn, how to deal with different vehicle types, and how to do if you want this many vehicles here, but the other type on the other uh, for the other turn. So, I will assume that we do static assignment, so not matrices. Um, so what we have is a simple network here: a left turn, a straight, and a right turn here. I have four data collection points, so we can. I will show uh, the number of vehicles as the simulation runs. I have a vehicle input, where I have currently 300 vehicles. And the vehicle composition, I have a 50-50 mix. It shows like car and HGV, and it's like 50-50 mix. It can be 100-100, it's just a relative flow, or 0-5-0-5. It just basically it sums up and then uh, takes the relative split uh, or the proportion within that total. So it doesn't need to be actual number. Then I have only cars and then I have only trucks. So let's, um, so I also set up in the evaluation. So as you can see, it is ticked on the data collection. And here I also select cars and HGV separately. So this way um, I will see the results um, calculated for each vehicle type or class, class as well, not just the total. <sighs> so if I start from the simulation, nothing will happen or basically everyone will take the left turn because I don't have a static route set up. And this is the first connector with And the setting of all so that's by default so it takes if there is no routing all vehicle will take the first connector with the setting all so what I do then or what you want to do is take static root and just place a static root or basically three static roots going for all three arms because we have three turns here and the straight one needs to be a turn as well so we have this, and if you click on it, you can bring it up, right click, show static, or if you place one, it automatically brings up the list. So if you select it, if you see there is a purple and three blue. So for one purple, you can have multiple um, movements basically. And for each, you have a relative flow. And this relative flow is the same as uh, I said before. It's just a proportion within the total. <laughs> so the total is three now. So this is one third, one third, one third. If I put two here, then it will be four in total. So half will turn left, 25% um, goes straight and 25% goes to the right. And this one is for all vehicle types. If you untick it, you can set it separately. So it's only applicable to HGVs or for cars or whatever you need to set it. But it's all vehicle types. So whatever or whoever comes here, they will be directed. So let me just set up the data collection um, as well. So we can see the results. Exactly one vehicle numbers, current run, current interval, all types. Okay, so let's run it and let's see what happens. So you can see the count. And of course it's a random now. So it basically to have the final number, you need to run it to the top, to the end. But as you can see, it, it if it runs the fast, the longer it runs, the more accurate the numbers will be. So let's keep running a bit more. So it was over. Okay, so now let me just put into the last completed. If you run it with a different seed, it would be slightly different. Um, so if you run with a different seed here, or with that one, or if you run a multi-run, 
and you run with multiple seeds over 5 or 10 simulation it will be like nearly accurate so don't get surprised if you don't see like actual number because it's it's it is not that accurate i mean there are ways to set it up accurately but even the vehicle input is you can see it's 307 instead of 300 so um again i discussed it in other videos but there is like a stochastic type or exact so you can you can make it exact but the right way to run simulations is use randomized usually of course there are authorities that ask you to run with exact but uh, probably better or more realistic to use stochastic and use multiple runs and with this random seed increment so you have a different random input basically for each um, and they will over multiple simulations it will balance out okay so let's get back to the topic so if i go back here and change the root so like that if you change it to one that will be basically equal for each so let me just run it to the end so as you can see it is nearly equal now <laughs> and now if you want to have like uh, all the hgvs or trucks needs to go maybe here and here maybe here this is bent for hgvs so let's have a look what you can do in that case you have a vehicle input i just duplicate it so now i have two vehicle inputs in the same place and instead of having a 50 50 mix you can have cars and you can truck separately and then you can have maybe 150 there 150 there and also you can duplicate the, this routing so now we have the same twice just i don't have these ones so <laughs> oh sorry i need to select the routes so I just add the, ah, sorry, I'm just messing it up. Let me just do it. So this is gonna be for trucks. And what you can do, so this one you can, let's untick those. And the first one will be only for cars. The second one will do HGVs. And the cars, they will go, um, maybe most of them will go up. If you want, let's say from 300, you want uh, 250 here and the rest here, you can actually put the actual number because you know the total, or sorry, um, 150 is the total. So I want maybe 100 there and you want 25, 25 here. Since it is a relative flow, you can, once the, if the portion is, the proportions of, of these is, um, is right or are right, then it will match. And now if you go to HGVs, I want like most of them here from the 150, let's say I want 140 on that one. I want 10 there and I want zero up there. So if I run the mod model now, let's just do a double check. Yeah, all the vehicle types is set up correctly. <sighs> okay, now we run it. Let's go to uh, the results data collection results so if we select this one so this is the simulation run the last one is number five so this one is number two this is number four this is number three so number three i think should have the hgv so if you look let's just clean it up so you can see how it works here as well so i just delete all of that I only want vehicles. I will have all vehicles, cars, and trucks. <laughs> okay. So number five, all vehicles, 156. And from that, 135 is truck, 21 cars. But if I select number two, you see for number two is mainly cars because it's 92 and there is no one on it zero trucks and that is this one this one is number four so that one has 40 total vehicles so cars and buses or sorry cars and trucks 40 from that 26 cars 14 trucks so i hope this makes sense if you use matrices this is a different story if you are interested in that one we can discuss as well just let me know in the comments and i can make a video about that but this should be fine so again 
um, if you want to have just like a general traffic split use a weaker composition where you set the mix up so let's say if you want only two percent trucks you just put 098 here and put 0, 0, 002 or you just put 2 and 98 it is the same and here you just have one <laughs> static root in that case and you would just um, you would just use all vehicle types on that one and you just set up the relative flow here which can be in percentages or actual vehicle numbers if you know your uh, totals so it will be just total uh, added up summed together and the proportions are taken from them like a percentage or something thanks for watching let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations or questions uh, to support the channel please like and subscribe and uh, check my patreon page and sign up for a membership if you want to uh, support me with the price of a coffee thanks a lot for watching